Today is going to be an interesting kind of stream. Today, I am going to be transforming all of this. How you may ask? Well, I will tell you, it is with one simple item. I'm going to use a glass bottle. I'm going to, I'm going to change the world. I am going to be going through the base of my base, and I'm going to be turning all of the dirt that's down here into mud. And this was something that I kind of forgot you could do, but if you just fill up a water bottle and do that, mud. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. It may seem a little boring on the surface, but I'm going to make it interesting. How? I don't know. So I have gotten my work cut out for me today. Now, I don't need to get any water breathing or anything like that because I've got a conduit down there already in anticipation for everything that I need to do. But what I don't have down there is more mud. Now, Nick, why are you bringing more mud to the where you're making mud? Well, that's a great question, me. Well, I am going to be replacing everything. So sand, clay, stone, gravel, everything's getting replaced with mud. They call me muddery. They don't call me that. That would be mean. When it hits like plain gravel, that's where I'm going to stop it today. But I am planning on getting all of this area up above the gravel turned into mud. It's the muddening. Nope, that that off that also sounds mean. We are currently on day six thousand two hundred and forty-one when I start doing this. Nuke, don't go smallish beans crazy. He's actually nukery crazy. I've been robbed by Joel Smallish Beans of my personality. It will not stand, so I'm gonna sit down first. Anyway, we're gonna be doing a lot of terraforming today in my underwater blah 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 blah. Naturally, you can't breathe underwater, so I'm not gonna be able to talk all that much as well. <laughs> Something else I learned about mud is that you can actually swim in between it and a slab. Hold on. I'm gonna show you. So I don't know what amount of space there is, but watch this. Look. I'm under my- I'm under- I'm under the dock. I didn't know this was a thing. So, yeah, I- I don't know, I just thought you guys might find that interesting. Also, freeze frame. Is this going to increase my stats, actually? Hold on. Oh, it is working! So, times used are going- Yeah, times used are going to be going. And then, I assume water bottles are going to be used as well. Why is water bottle not a thing? What? Is it drinks? Wait! Hold on, hold on. Is water bottle not something that can have a statistic? Wait, is that real? Wait, that's crazy. Water bottles do not exist in the stats. That's kind of interesting. Today we're learning. I mean, we're already learning that I have the patience to do this. So I guess that's something. Go away. I'm busy. I don't know if potions in general will be a stat. Hold on. Oh, times, wait, is it? Is it considered a potion? So that's 1948. It is! Water bottles are considered potions when it comes to stats. It's also worth noting, in the meantime, we are gathering wool for our tsunami project. So every time I fill up two shulker boxes, I bring them over to the project and use a warped sign to mark that it's been done. Okay! You're not gonna get me! Not today! See, I said that earlier where I was gonna end up dealing with about... Well, I said three of them, but one is enough. One is dangerous. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break to bring over the next double chest of blue wool. There we go. And then we can mark this one as done. So that is now, how many chests is that one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven by four. That is 28 double chests of blue wool. We need another 20. Oh, go away with your giant fork. Your giant blue fork. There's so many of them. Oh, I'm gonna stab you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I got you. Hold on, I feel like I'm losing you guys for a sec. Once, once, one sec. Once, one sec. Jingle, jingle, I've got the keys! Pay attention! Okay, great. Wonderful. Now that I've got your attention, can I have- can I have five dollars? So I've sorted out the main area at the front, at least in terms of the cobbled deep slates to the mud. I think that looks good. The question is, is gravel the right choice for the bottom of this? I want the answer to be yes, but I'm concerned that it's not. What I'm thinking is I can mostly cover it up with what I'm thinking is uh, coral. I really wish there was um orange coral. There's two pink ones, but I wish there was an orange one. If I just clear all this out and start putting down... Like, if I cover the entire floor in different coral, 
I, I want to say that's going to look good. Just trying to make like the big versions of the different coral. So that's the tube coral there. And if I have that going all the way along there, I think that could look really good. Equally, hold on. What if I just cope for a little bit and just remove all of the sea pickles? What if I remove all of the natural light? Oh, I say natural light. No, sea pickles are natural. Screw it. We're saying natural light. Because the reason that I had these was to make it spawn proof. And clearly it didn't work very well. Because I kept getting attacked by drowned. Because they have an insane reach. Well, not reach, but sorry, a view distance. Interaction range. That's what it is. They have their fancy pants view distance, and I don't like it. On the right side, it's really easy to tell where the pickles are. Okay, so I actually don't think I need to do anything with the gravel at the bottom. I think if I just remove the lights, then that's going to be enough. Hope this helps. Okay, so there's a lot more of these guys now. Maybe, okay, maybe the sea pickles were helping. That's crazy. That's crazy, though. It should not have done that much. Hold on a second. That does raise an interesting question. Can I make a farm out of this? If I'm up here, if I'm just in my base and there are mobs spawning down there, can I lure them into a trap with a... with turtle eggs and an iron golem? So, okay. Naturally spawning drowns have the chance when killed by a player to drop copper. So if there's a way I can make them target a block that will lead them towards a kill chamber that has something automated to kill them that is also like I'm killing it, does that mean I can make a copper farm out of my base? That's something I want to figure out. I know piglins go for the turtle eggs. I'm gonna write it down on a list and I'm gonna come back to it because I'm, I'm making sure that I'm not getting distracted. Oh, oh no. Okay, there we go. Are you trying to really, really, really? <clears throat> oh, wait, there's so many. There's so many forks. What the heck? Whoop. Now we get to play a fun game of how many of these. Oh, how many are we actually going to get? Oh, dodged it, dodged it. And we got zero. Not shell. You really just keep missing, don't you? I'm here making mud and you're here making L's. <laughs> okay, I kind of deserve that one. What was that? Oh, bro's got a loyalty trident. I was wondering what that sound was. I'm getting, I'm getting Inception bombed by this guy over here. Are you kidding me? He's got an infinite arsenal of loyalty tridents. Get out of here. They can have those, apparently, apparently they can. I didn't know they can. Are you kidding me with the forks today? Ow. Yay! Got one. Oh, for God's sake. This is actually, I'm getting trolled at this point. I think that's starting to look really good. Oh, for God's sake! Hold on. Is that another? Oh my God, it's loyalty ones again. You can tell by the sound it's making. There's so many! Oh, I'm in danger. Hold on. There we go. It's a baby! If you dodge it down the way, you'll always dodge it. So, oh my god, the forks again. Give it a rest. Use a spoon next time. I don't know. Use a spoon, get a hobby. Their hobby was swimming. Their, their hobby was murder. One of these days, my lack of attention span will come back to haunt me, but today was not that day. Or maybe it was, I forgot. How many are in here now? Four. Oh, I love you so much. I'll, I'll say it, LA's have my heart. I love them. That's Gabe. Gabe stays in Gabe's house. I'm gonna I'm come back and do this another day. I want to make an LA sanctuary. So now that I've got all of the, you know, the mud and stuff all sorted around this area, what I want to try and do is start waterlogging and bringing it up so that it's kind of connecting a bit more. I just think that this may look, this may end up looking really nice. And I may or may not have been inspired to do this by watching Fwip's Hardcore World. So Fwip, if you're at any point watching this in future, Thank you. And also, yoink. <laughs> Hold on, let me fly out real fast. Oh, dude, yes. Yes. It's your boy, Nook Nookery, improving his building. Yippee. To so work, dedication, and an itty little bit of plagiarism. <laughs> Ow! Okay, fine, I deserve that. Wait, but why does that make everything look so much better? Hello? Why does that make everything look better? 
Is there a new moss type? Yeah, so they're adding in pale moss. And for those of you that are curious about it, I am joining a Hermitcraft style SMP called Corecraft. And in that, I'm going to be making a YouTube series. And I am very, very excited because I am going to be doing something with my base that nobody has ever done in Minecraft before. So, you know, subscribe. I'm actually building myself my own YouTube play button. And so every time somebody subscribes, they get added as a block. And on top of that, I'm doing my favorite... Hold on, let me... I gotta do this face to face. On top of that, I need a desk. <laughs> the setting needs to be right. One second. On top of that, every week I'm choosing my favorite comment and I'm building that. And the most recent one that I did was Impulse SV from Hermitcraft, but as an anime statue. So if you check out that series on YouTube, you can see all of the different builds I've done. But you can also find them on my Instagram at nukery underscore builds because I upload them all there as well. But I don't know. I think we've had a really successful day of doing some building and uh, terraforming the area out front of my... I'm Oh, I'm under the bee. I think we've had a really good successful day of building underneath my base and connecting the world a little bit. I think that looks really good. What do you guys think? I think that looks really nice. But uh, yeah, if you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I ignore this part, Twitch. Ignore this part, I promise. Ignore this. But if you're watching on YouTube, then come and join me on Twitch because I live stream a lot of the time. Nailed it! <laughs> okay, great.